Hello, savvy investors, welcome back to the Dividend Uncle, your trusted source of all things investment. In today's video, we're delving into the realm of new opportunities, reviewing afresh our options in the year 2024. Navigating the myriad options in this dynamic landscape requires a robust strategic framework, and today, we'll explore just that. Enter the core satellite strategy, a compass in the vast sea of investment choices. I'll unveil its relevance in the year 2024 and share precisely how I'm applying it to my REITs portfolio. Stay tuned, because while I'm focusing on REITs, this framework is a versatile tool applicable to sculpting success across your entire investment portfolio. Before we start, I would like invite viewers who haven't subscribed to my channel to click on the subscribe button to keep updated with the latest investment insights in the new year. Remember knowledge is power and often equates to more prosperous investment outcomes. Okay, let's dive right in. Core Satellite Strategy Unveiled At its core, no pun intended, the core satellite strategy is about dividing your investment portfolio into two segments, the core and the satellites. The core, stability in uncertain times, why might you want a core in your portfolio? In times of uncertainty, like the landscape we're navigating currently, having a stable base is invaluable. The core consists of tried and true investments, often in established sectors, with a history of weathering economic storms. These are your long-term holds, the ones you can rely on even when markets are turbulent. The satellites, capturing opportunities. Now, let's talk about the satellites. The market is dynamic and opportunities can arise unexpectedly. The satellites are your strategic place. These could be investments in emerging sectors, high potential but perhaps higher risk assets. They're your growth engines, capturing opportunities that might not be fully reflected in the core holdings. Flexibility and adaptability, the core satellite strategy allows you to adapt. If there's a sudden shift in market dynamics, the core remains your stability anchor, while the satellites can be adjusted to capture emerging trends or mitigate risks. Avoiding over-reliance on timing, one of the challenges investors face is timing the market. The core satellite strategy recognizes this. Instead of trying to predict every market move, it focuses on time in the market. The core satellite approach is about long-term success, not about catching every market fluctuation. Why core satellite in 2024? So, why does the core satellite strategy shine in 2024? Simply put, because it provides a dynamic balance. In a year where economic shifts, policy changes, and global events can sway markets, Having a core satellite strategy allows you to navigate these uncertainties with agility. 1. Potential economic weakness? The global economy is expected to weaken in the coming year, with increased volatility and uncertainty due to geopolitical and domestic political factors. This means that investors may want to have a stable and resilient core that can withstand market fluctuations and reduce portfolio costs. Some of the factors that could contribute to the global economic slowdown and instability are the ongoing trade tensions between the US and China, the rising debt levels and fiscal deficits in many countries, the potential for social unrest and political instability in certain regions, and new variants of the coronavirus. Having a core portfolio that is diversified across different asset classes, regions, and sectors can help investors reduce their exposure to specific risks and sources of volatility and increase their chances of capturing the long-term returns of the market. 2. Finally winning against inflation? The global inflationary surge is likely to ease, and central banks may be more willing to cut interest rates if growth slows. This means that investors may want to have some satellite investments that can benefit from lower real yields, higher valuations, and a shift from inflation to growth risks. The global inflation rate, which reached a 13-year high is expected to moderate in 2024, as the base effects of the pandemic-induced price shocks fade, the supply chain bottlenecks ease, and the demand pressures subside. This could lead to lower interest rates, as central banks may adopt a more dovish stance and provide more monetary stimulus to support the economic recovery. Having some satellite investments that are sensitive to interest rates and valuations, such as growth-oriented rights can help investors enhance their returns and hedge against the possibility of lower growth and deflationary risks. However, these investments also entail higher risks and volatility, and may require more active monitoring and rebalancing. The Dividend Uncle's Take Now, let's put theory into practice. What specific REITs would the Dividend Uncle consider for my core and satellite portfolios in 2024? Core REIT Candidates First up, the core. 
these are the bedrock investments providing stability. In this category, I'd recommend considering some of the following which I already have in my portfolio. SOP I Edge S REIT Leaders ETF For younger investors or investors with a smaller portfolio, this ETF encompasses a basket of Singapore REITs, providing instant diversification by spreading risk while providing stability. Now, if you have more resources or would rather invest in individual shares, these are my recommendations. 1. Capital and Integrated Commercial Trust is a heavyweight in Singapore's commercial real estate. With a diversified portfolio including office and retail spaces, it offers stable returns and resilience even in uncertain times. 2. Fraser's Centerpoint Trust focuses on suburban retail malls. Its strategic locations and a mix of essential services make it a reliable, defensive play for steady income. 3. Maple Tree Logistics Trust, with its focus on logistics properties, is riding the e-commerce wave. The booming logistics sector makes it a strong contender for long-term stability. 4. Capital and Ascot Trust specializes in serviced residences, hotels and student accommodation. With a global footprint, it adds an international touch to your core, providing stability and growth with its resilient business model. These stalwarts provide stability and resilience, aligning perfectly with the core's purpose in uncertain times. Satellite REIT Candidates Now, let's talk about the satellites. These are strategic plays designed to capture opportunities and provide diversification. In this orbit, consider the following REITs. Capital and China Trust is your ticket to China's real estate growth. Its portfolio, including premier commercial properties, not only provides growth potential but also adds a layer of geographic diversification. Other than the high dividend yield of close to 10%, when the Chinese economy finally recover, you will be rewarded handsomely as well. In the meantime, get paid to wait. Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust is Singapore's former favorite REIT. It has like a fallen angel, but with the new year, new hopes emerge. With Vivocity standing strong and steady, and Hong Kong's retail market facing a recovery in 2024, this could provide unique value to your portfolio. CDL Hospitality Trust focuses on hospitality assets, a sector in the midst of recovery. As a satellite play, it not only adds a different sector but also introduces managerial diversification. Cromwell European REIT, with a portfolio spanning multiple European countries, provides exposure to diverse markets. It's a strategic move in the global real estate game, ensuring you're not overexposed to any single region. These provide geographic diversification, higher dividend yields and potential for higher returns, aligning with the satellite's role in capturing opportunities. However, it's important to note that these satellite investments come with higher risks and volatility. They require active monitoring and strategic rebalancing. Yet, in a landscape where the winds of change bring both challenges and opportunities, these satellites can play a vital role in enhancing your portfolio returns and managing risks effectively. Allocation between core and satellite When it comes to allocating between the core and satellite in your REIT portfolio, the key lies in aligning with your risk appetite and investment goals. For those seeking a more stable foundation with lower risk, a higher allocation to the core, say around 70 to 80%, can provide the resilience needed in uncertain times. On the other hand, for the adventurous souls ready to ride the waves of market dynamics, a higher satellite allocation, of up to 40%, can add the spice of growth and higher returns. Striking the right balance is an art, and the core satellite strategy allows for that flexibility. Remember, your investment strategy is as unique as your fingerprint and adjusting the proportions can help tailor your portfolio to your specific risk tolerance and financial objectives. Conclusion As we step into 2024, remember, it's not just about reacting to market shifts, it's about proactively positioning your investments. The core satellite strategy isn't just a concept, it's your compass in the turbulent seas of the global economy. If you found these insights valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, Happy holidays and happy strategizing.